welcome and thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. And please put your palms together for a meditation reading. In everyone, there is something precious found in no one else. So honor each person for what is what's hidden within them, for what they alone have and none of his fellows. Hasidic saying, if you would please join me in Gasho. Namo Amidawat. Namo Amidawat. Namo Amidawat. Namo Amidawat. Namo Amidawat. Regrets. Can we live a life without more regret? You know, there's a book called 25 Regrets, and it's written by a Japanese hospice doctor. And he, had, he has been present for more than 2,000 um, people's in the life. And as he was talking to these people at, towards their end of life, the top, there are top five that he named as regrets. And the first one is, is some people are so motivated by their work and there's no balance between work and home life. And as they're laying there, they're, you know, they're saying could have, would have, should have. They should have had more time enjoying music, the arts, nature, hobbies, or just volunteering or whatever they, they found pleasure in. And another regret they had was not doing what they really wanted to do. And they only worked at the job they had to survive. They were not passionate about the career they chose. They just knew they had to work it in order to survive. And the third regret they had was they realized that their whole life was controlled by negative emotions. They worried, they had too many anger issues, they hated or they were sad. You know, situations that brought these, these negative emotions were actually minor in the grand scheme of life. They were minor, and they, they felt as though their time and energy was wasted on these negative emotions. And then the fourth one was, as these people were nearing their end of life, they regretted appreciation of having what they did have a healthy mind and body. When they had it, they took it for granted. And it was when they were nearing their end of life that they, they looked at it and they said, you know what, I could have, would have, should have taken better care of myself. But the biggest regret they ever had or was to have, was not expressing their appreciation to the people that supported them during their whole lifetime. They wish they could have, would have, should have reached out to their family, to their friends, to their teachers you know, and, and our community, to let them 
know the impact that they had on their lives. I ask you, when will we begin to appreciate what we have? When will we share our thanks? When will we stop and truly look at our regrets and, and actually do something to imp not improve but maybe change those regrets? I ask you, when will we take Nembutsu, our Namu Amidabutsu, into our hearts and minds and truly live or try to live a true life of Nembutsu. And that, that, that life is in gratitude, thankfulness, and appreciation for what we do have. And it's showing our appreciation for the teachings that guide us and give us direction. Or will we allow our youthful thinking to hinder our appreciation until it's too late? You know, we put our greed, our anger, and our ignorance aside, and we should truly, truly look at the things that make us appreciative of who and what we have and what we are today. But, and we always have Nembutsu, Namu Amidabutsu, to share with others, as well as ourselves. And think, it's never too late to change, to appreciate, and to, to really extend ourselves to others. If you would please join me in Gasho. Namu Amidabas, Namu Amidabas, Namu Amidabas, Namu Amidabas. No more. No more. No more. And thank you for listening.